the speaker. Hopefully, he needs no introduction. Uh, it's Natalie Bennett from Green Party. So, just a few words about Natalie. Natalie's uh, been a, a journalist for, for many years. Um, she worked, she, the, her last job was editing the Guardian Weekly, which she's worked in Thailand, Australia, and other places. Uh, she's also the founder of Green Plan and Chair of Green Party Women and very involved in, in the women's movement nationally. Um, so, that's what we think. Any further on about that? Regulated. 
this whole, let's leave it to the bankers and they'll sort everything out perfectly if this is going to work. Of course, we know it didn't work. And that's now also pretty much popular wisdom. So what we can do is we sit here today and think about how do we renew our energies. We can think that we've been fighting all of these battles for a long time. And the thing is, we are now winning. We've got lots of people out there who we agree with us. If we think about things like renationalising the railways. Now, I actually only have to walk across the Euston Road to get to here today. But what I usually have is a bit in the written down the speech that says, insert today's disastrous rail anecdote here. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be people in the audience who'd be able to insert their own disastrous rail anecdote because our privatised rail system, everyone understands, isn't working. And a very good report from the union showed us how it's costing a billion pounds a year. And if you look at the surveys, something like 70 to 80% of the public utterly agree with renationalising the railways. I spoke on Wednesday to a group of FTSE 100 executives, which wasn't a speech I was particularly looking forward to, I have to say. I, I was very much more looking forward to this one. Uh, but when I got to renationalise the railways, even probably the most, most right wing person there said, well, you know, I, I don't believe in renationalisation, of course, but I do understand it's such a mess that that's probably where we've got to go back to. So, on arguments like that, we're winning. On arguments like keeping our NHS in public hands, publicly owned and publicly run, we know enormously that the public is behind us on that. There's huge public support for that. And we know that on the living wage, I've been going around banging on for years and years, as has Maya on Camden Council, about how everyone deserves a living wage. If you work full time, you should earn enough money to live on. You shouldn't have to depend on benefits from the government, on family tax credits, on housing benefits. You shouldn't have to depend on all of those things to get by because what that is actually is corporate welfare. The money that because you're not being paid enough by the company that employs you, the big multinational high profit company, the government is effectively paying money straight into their coffers, saving their profits. And very often that money is then immediately whizzing off, as we all know, to an offshore tax haven. So it's disappearing out of the economy, out of the system. So what we need to do is to build strong local economies. And the fact is, we've got huge support for all of these ideas, all of these principles have huge support out there. But I know that sometimes, as you're battling away with your local transition towns group, as you're battling away with your union, as you're battling away with Occupy Work, and even people I know who are battling away in things like the campaign for the protection of rural England to fight to protect the green belt. It feels like you're out there on your own. You find this big battle, there's a few people helping you, everyone's a bit tired, everyone's a bit quick, a bit worn out. But the fact is, we're all out there fighting those battles. And one of the really important things we need to do is do much more to realise that we're all, we are together, a group of people. We are what I'd like to call the small G green movement. We're out there, and within in that I include everything from Occupy to UK Uncut, to the Women's Institute, to the CPRI, to trade unions, there's a huge group of people out there who are fighting, who really get and understand that the globalised neoliberal model, the model that's just greatly increased inequality, increased unfairness, and that's left huge numbers of people in this wealthy country, huge numbers don't know where the next meal is coming from, don't know where next week's rent is coming from, don't know where next month's mortgage payment is coming from. Here we are in this wealthy country in a situation where we're not distributing things properly, we're not building the right kind of economy, we're not creating the jobs that we need. And we know that we can do all of those things. I talk a lot, you know, as you might have noticed, there was a small thing about an energy bill yesterday, which you might have noticed, and some pretty bad things in that as well as some positives. But the fact is that we know that in providing the energy infrastructure we need, both the energy generation through renewables and the, really importantly the energy conservation to providing people with warm and comfortable homes and ensuring that we have the, the kind of uh, infrastructure that we need, the public transport, all of those things mean jobs. And they should be, we need to make sure that they're not outsourced minimum wage, casualised jobs, but good, solid, reliable jobs that you can build a life on. So we've got a huge group of people around the country. We've got the general backing of the public. What I'd say to you is, 
you might feel tired now, but just think of all those people who are behind you, all of those people who are depending on you, and think that we can get together, we can build a movement together, we can get together and really make a difference in British politics. Um, now, I've been given a sign that says five minutes to go, but actually, I believe that, uh, so I was told that there was lots of talking this morning, so I'm going to allow plenty of time for questions. So I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to give everyone to sort of wait, which means everybody in the room that I can see anyway, the gold star. Thank you. Start from the grassroots and really make a difference locally. I think you can do that. 